so excited to see you it's here in Accra. Cool, man. Yeah, man. I mean, we're just coming here to talk to the kids. Yeah. Um, to, yeah like I said, I spoke a lot about the safeness of boxing. But all those neighbors, there's a way to make it safer and that because the truth is not everyone is going to get one city for the amount of risk they take. Yeah. It's not guaranteed. So if you yeah. can teach the safety and add it a bit to the culture, then why not? The equipments are there, so why not teach the kids how to use it? How are you and, doing? And secondly, it's for them to see that if a Ghanaian like myself can go on and to do things and to achieve a little, that they can do it too. There's no difference between myself and them. I live in England, fine, but I was born here. I grew up here. So there's no difference between myself and them. If I can achieve something, they can do it as well, you know? Just to preach that consistency is what gets you to the top. The top crowd there, yeah. Where yeah, sure. I've got to is by being consistent. Working hard but being consistent as well. I see. So you, how long are you going to stay in Ghana? Oh um, my time's almost up. Really? Yeah, yeah. It was a, a, a quick journey just to come and again give something small back um, to the community. But like I said, it's also important to come back because it, when I come here and I see everyone, I get energy, I draw energy from them. So when I go back to London and I'm preparing for a fight, I remember this is where I'm from. Um, I look at the conditions, good and bad. I take what I can take from them. It motivates me when I'm training. I'm not fighting Canelo Alvarez. I'm meant to fight Bivol next. Yeah, but we're just waiting to see whether that will get finalised. Yeah, but again, we're in talks and we're waiting to see what will happen. But my last fight was the winner that wins and we get bigger. So we're just waiting for that. Sarah, good yeah. to see you. Well, you, you're going to be ready for him. I'll be ready, man. The last fight I had, um, Greg entering the ring, it was the winner would fight bigger. Yeah. If I didn't think I'd be ready, I wouldn't have gone into that fight in the first place. So I came out on top, thankfully. So we'll be ready, man. Okay. Are we going to see you coming to Ghana more often than... Bro, I come to Ghana all the time. time. It's just oh. not always in the media, but it's always in the media. Oh, okay. Like in Ghana all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I come to Ghana. Oh, it's your town? Yeah. This is where I'm from. This is where I was born. Tema. Yeah, I'm from the Volta region, but I grew up in Tema, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you do you, you do follow Ghanaian boxing I and our boxers? Yeah, I follow them. And, you know, I follow closely my cousin has a good book, so yeah, oh, okay. yeah, and even the national team, I train with the music of the to the 2012 Olympics, when I come back, I just touch base with them, I was at Kosha Sarvish gym with him two days ago, um, and a few other gyms that we went about, so, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, all right, so, we, we, we just, yeah, we're so glad to meet you, you know, and we yeah, wish you well. the very best, you know, you become a world champion. Sure, we are solidly behind you. When I, when I get that strap, I'll bring it here for everyone to see that it's not just for me, it's for the whole country. It's not even specifically just for where we are now, it's for everyone. Everyone that Ghana flows through your blood is for you. So it's not just for me when I get that title. That's so good to hear. Sure, man. Thank you. All right. Man.